What's going on today, guys? In this week's episode, I'm building a trebuchet for a program in October. Let's get right into it. Sitting, sitting, sitting. The same old workplace. What's the point of this chain? To just bite our own tail. Wishing, wishing, wishing that something would change and we could turn back the page and live like a favorite fairy tale. So we love so free in a world of our fantasy, flying on dragons through sky high city. These are childhood dreams. It's all we do. Told you what to chase Told you how to run the race Every move was on the page But I didn't like their way Had to fight and misbehave Had to find a way to change Had to leave to find my way Caught up in a daydream I be in my mind up there almost daily It's how I pass time, no opinions safely It's how I understand what I want in this place see. Cause everybody wanna tell you bad things What could go wrong, what fame brings But success is a finicky thing And if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down myself test fire I'm going to be using this larger than life tractor supply tennis ball it would help if I was throwing it in the other direction I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay I move on each and every day The past is where it stays Way back a year ago On the test, the test shots You created a bit of a slop in that So I'm going to brace the corners with a metal plate and Just wrap it around, that'll help hold these in place I'm alright and for the first time in a long time, I'm all right. That's gonna wrap up this project. I do have plans to make a second trebuchet. Not 100% thrilled with how this one worked. It did work-ish, 
Uh, I'm going to adjust the style and design of the weight box. I'm going to change out the arms, probably change the upright. Probably going to be a similar design, but it's going to be a more robust and durable build. I have noticed some... Almost, they almost look like stress cracks that I didn't, I don't remember seeing. Yeah, right here. I don't remember seeing. Ooh, yeah, down here at the end. I don't remember seeing those when I was sanding this board. There's a lot of force being put on that two by four. So uh, probably a two by four is not the best. Going to improve that. No issues with the galvanized piping. Uh, it's nice and thick, so not going to change that at all. Something else I need to figure out is how to keep the arm and the weight positioned in place so they don't shift around when it launches, because I did notice uh, if it's on a little bit of uneven ground, it'll shift towards the downhill slope. So that is something that I'll need to kind of figure out whether I just use a pipe clamp or drill a hole and put a cotter pin through it. That's something I'm gonna have to figure out. If you got any ideas, leave a, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Overall, I would give my build a six out of 10. It's not great, not terrible. It worked and it didn't disintegrate. Uh, it, I feel like if I hadn't braced the two by four, it would have. So if you decide to, to make a trebuchet this way, yeah, brace it or Get a bigger board and then you don't have to worry about it. If you found this build interesting, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe for more. That's going to wrap up this episode. My name's Josh. This is Life of a Camp Ranger. We'll catch you in the next one.